Good afternoon on a kind of gray and gloomy day. Here's a live look at our Luther Family Ford Skycam Network here in Fargo, and we still have those raindrops on the lens. As rain showers have continued to push to the north and slightly to the east as we progress into our afternoon hours. So let's go through a little radar tour here. We've been seeing some of the heavier rain out in Lakes Country, particularly Detroit Lakes, Pelican Rapids, Rush Lake, down through Fergus Falls and Parker's Prairie, and now starting to lift up through the Park Rapids area and north out towards Bemidji, maybe seeing a few sprinkles finally making it to the ground. Same thing out in Faustin, but down to the south, even farther towards Alexandria, St. Cloud, Benson, Minnesota, Mankato, even seeing some lightning and thunder. So a few thunder showers, but the thunder and lightning isn't quite making it up into our neck of the woods yet. Might hear a few rumbles out in Lakes Country. Meanwhile, across southeastern North Dakota, seeing a little band of some heavier rainfall in between Lisbon and Ellendale, right through the Oaks area, and just to the northwest of Hankinson as well. Wheatland area might be seeing a couple sprinkles here shortly. Same thing with Valley City, but most of that is right towards the south of town. Meanwhile, down to the south in areas of Nebraska, seeing some mixed pre precipitation, even some snow with some drier air moving in towards Sioux Falls. Up across the Northern Valley, the air is still very dry with those humidity values, mostly in the 30s, but Bemidji, your humidity value has been rising as those rain showers push in from the south. So once that air is saturated, might begin to see more of that actually making it to the ground. Folks up in Devil's Lake, Langdon, Grand Forks, not really expecting much rain today, aside from a few sprinkles, maybe making it up as far north as Grand Forks. We also have a northeasterly breeze, which is a drier breeze, especially across the northern valley that's bringing in some drier air and not really helping the air become saturated. So that's another thing to watch out for for today. But in your hour by hour forecast, you can see this very light green that indicates mostly sprinkles. So Grand Forks, you do have a slight chance through the afternoon, but the best shot for that more moderate to heavy rain is going to be where we are already seeing it across southeastern North Dakota, the Southern Valley and other portions of Lakes Country, stretching up towards Faustin and Bemidji throughout the rest of the afternoon and eventually by the evening and overnight, pushing all the way up into northern Minnesota. Rolla, Langdon, Devils Lake, Harvey, all remaining dry for today, as is much of eastern North Dakota. And the rain showers continue for our Thursday. Here we are tomorrow morning at 945. A few lingering showers in the Southern Valley, but the best chance for more rain is going to be across Western Minnesota throughout our day Thursday. We'll see a bit of it backtrack through the Central Valley and maybe a few sprinkles in extreme Eastern North Dakota. But again, the best chance is going to be across our Minnesota counties for our Thursday. That continues throughout the entire day and then progresses back to the east on Friday. So even more rain is in the forecast. As for expected rainfall potential, the light blue indicates less than a half an inch. This is through Friday. So I have this paused at 615 on Friday morning. The best shot for maybe an inch or two or more is going to be in these orange shaded regions through Fergus Falls, Detroit Lakes, even up towards Bemidji. And Brian, as I was just mentioning, those shower chances continue today, tomorrow, right on through Friday. Saturday, looking like the best chance of the weekend. High temperature near 60 degrees, a bit more sunshine, but then another chance of some precipitation as a low pressure system slides through. Looks like late in the day, Sunday into Monday, and that is when Western and Central North Dakota have the best chance for some precipitation, but it might, just might, be in the form of snow. It might help out a little bit as well as we were talking about people getting out and gardening, but snow, yeah. not so much. <laughs> they, they need the moisture in any way it's going to fall from the sky. They'll be thankful for it. We'll definitely take it. Thanks, Summer. We'll straight ahead at noon, empowering military heroes by telling their stories through music. We'll tell you about Operation Song next.